Hello everyone, I am Umair. In today's video, we will discuss some tricks about hybridization. First, what is hybridization? Hybridization is actually mixing of two or more orbitals to form new orbital. Here are some examples of hybridization. In these examples, you can observe that some atoms have sp2 hybridization, some has sp3 hybridization, and some has sp hybridization. You may be familiar of these hybridizations but in this video i will tell you some tricks how to find such hybridization in carbon atom oxygen atom nitrogen atom and sulfur atom here is first in first example is alkane we know that alkane has four sigma bonds it has sp3 hybridization so here we have methane ethane and propane all methane ethane and propane has sp3 hybridization and how we can know that because of the number of sigma bond the carbon in them forming here we can see that in methane carbon is forming four sigma bonds it is second and this car this is third with this hydrogen and one two three and four so in this way the carbon is forming four sigma bond if and if uh, a carbon in car case of carbon atom if there are four sigma bonds and zero pi bonds or at least four sigma bonds we will have sp3 hybridization same is the case in ethane and propane next if we discuss alkene it has sp2 hybridization why there is a example alke of alkene here we have two carbons and both these carbons are forming one sigma bond less than alkane so if a carbon is forming three sigma bonds it will have sp2 hybridization one three sigma bonds mean one pi bond will also formed next is alkyne alkyne has sp hybridization here is the example here the carbon is forming two sigma bonds one with this between these carbons and one with between this carbon and hydrogen so alkyne have one sigma bond less than alkene so it its hybridization will be sp same is the case in these examples so if in case of carbon atom if there is there are two sigma bonds there will be sp hybridization here you can observe that this carbon has sp hybridization because it has four sigma bond with these three sigma bond with th these three hydrogens and one sigma bond with this carbon so it has sp3 hybridization this carbon has sp hybridization because it has one sigma bond with this carbon and one with this carbon and this carbon also has sp hybridization because it has one sigma bond with this carbon and one sigma bond with this carbon if we discuss sp2 hybridization this carbon has sp2 hybridization because it has one sigma bond with this carbon and one sigma bond with this hydrogen and one sigma bond with this carbon so is the that's why this carbon forming three sigma bonds so its hybridization is sp2 so in a nutshell if a carbon is forming four sigma bond its hybridization will be sp3 if it is forming one sigma bond less than four so it, like it has if let's say it has three sigma bonds then its hybridization will be sp2 or it if it is forming two sigma bonds then its hybridization will be sp next if we will discuss sp3 hybridization in nitrogen in nitrogen sp3 hybridization will occur if we have three sigma bonds in carbon we get sp3 hybridization on four sigma bonds but in case of nitrogen we have one sigma bond less than carbon why it is because nitrogen has five electrons in its outermost shell or valence shell while carbon has four electrons so here we can say observe that in case of ammonia we have one two and three here we have three sigma bonds three sigma bonds in nitrogen mean sp3 hybridization and if we observe the case of this nitrogen here it is one two and three sigma bonds 
three sigma bonds mean sp3 hybridization in this case we can observe that this nitrogen is having four sigma bonds so but in this case uh, hybridization will remain sp3 because these three are actually sigma bonds and these formed between this nitrogen and oxygen is formed by the donation of lone pair by this nitrogen to this hydrogen so we have plus charge on it with which indicating that this hydrogen has taken lone pair from nitrogen so this bond is formed by lone pair donation while other bonds are sigma bonds so this you can say that this example is an exceptional case in nitrogen we have sp3 hybridization on having three sigma bonds while we have sp2 hybridization on having two sigma bond like in this example you can observe that this nitrogen has one two two sigma bonds so it's hybrid the hybridization of this nitrogen is sp2 and this further this nitrogen also has two sigma bonds one is this bond this in this case it has one l one sigma bond and one pi bond we we will count only sigma bonds so one sigma bond from with this carbon and one sigma bond with this hydrogen two sigma bonds between two two sigma bonds mean to sp2 hybridization while if we have if our nitrogen has only one sigma bond like in this case of hydrogen cyanide here nitrogen is forming one sigma bond and two pi bond if one sigma bond is there so in this case we will have sp hybridization in nitrogen now we will discuss sp3 hybridization in oxygen oxygen we know that has one bond one electron more than nitrogen and two electrons more than carbon it has six electrons in its valence shell so if uh, ox if an oxygen has two sigma is forming two sigma bonds then its hybridization will be sp3 like we can observe that this oxygen is forming one sigma bond with this hydrogen one sigma bond with this carbon so its hybridization will be sp3 in case of water we also can observe that oxygen is forming two sigma bond so hybridization of oxygen in water is sp3 while this case in this case in hydronium ion we can observe that hydrogen uh, oxygen is forming two two sigma bond and one bond is forming by the donation of one lone pair we know that oxygen has two lone pairs and here oxygen is donating one of the has donated one of which is has been accepted by hydrogen so this form bond is formed by donation and originally it is forming the oxygen is forming two sigma bonds which means that oxygen having two sigma bonds one sigma bond less than nitrogen is sp3 hybridization in this case we have now we have formaldehyde and in this case we can observe that say that oxygen if forming one sigma bond its hybridization will be sp2 one sigma bond in oxygen mean sp2 hybridization next we will discuss as hybridization in in sulfur in case of sulfur sulfur also belongs to oxygen group in periodic table it also has six electrons in its valence shell so if uh, likewise if oxygen is forming two bond two sigma bond and having sp3 hybridization sulfur will also if forming two sigma bond th then its hybridization will also be sp3 here are some of the examples here oxy nitrogen is forming one two three is nitrogen is forming three sigma bond then its hybridization will be sp3 we know that oxygen is forming three sigma bond and this is this is the donation of lone pair by nitrogen to hydrogen and in ammonia there are three sigma bonds and then there will be sp3 hybridization in water we know that oxygen if oxygen is forming two sigma bonds uh, then it will have sp3 hybridization and in this case we can know that one lone pair is uh, donating oxygen is donating one lone pair to the hydrogen so it will also have two sigma bonds and two sigma bonds mean between means sp3 hybridization and in this case we know that car if carbon having four sigma bonds then it will have sp3 hybridization in case of so3 we know that oxygen uh, sulfur has two lone pairs available for sp uh, for forming sigma bond here sulfur is forming one sigma bond between let's say this oxygen so if sulfur is forming one sigma bond then it will have sp2 hybridization while in this case sulfur in sf4 
sulfur is forming four sigma bond then its hybridization will be sp 3d in case of so4 2 minus here sulfur is forming one and two it is forming two sigma bond and two lone pair is donating in this case also here is a donation of two lone pair from toward this uh, oxygen and two lone, lone pair toward this oxygen so here is the formation of only one sigma bond then sp so2 so3 will have sp2 hybridization and in case of so4 two minus there is a formation of two lone two sigma bonds and donation of two lone pairs to the respective oxygen so here the hybridization will be sp3